I call the member for Griffith. Inform the Parliament of the Liberal National Party's plans to privatise a number of school playing fields on Brisbane's south side. Unilaterally, the Liberal National Party government has announced that playing fields at bon Balmoral State High School and Whites Hill College will be sold off. Not a word of consultation with local PNCs who, in previous decades, have physically helped build these playing fields from nothing. Not a word of consultation with the local community whose local, local cricket teams and football teams use these fields regularly. And not a word of consultation with the other local primary schools across Brisbane South Side who also use these playing fields for their kids because in the inner southern suburbs there simply aren't enough playing fields for the thousands of kids who use them and need to use them. Madam Speaker, Madam Deputy Speaker, not only has there been no consultation but also no mandate from the people to flog off these playing fields at all. At no time prior to the last election did the Liberal National Party tell Brisbane Southside residents that they plan to privatise school playing fields. Not only is there no mandate, not only is there no consultation, there is no logic to this decision either. We all know when school populations go up and down. Local primary schools had small populations in my electorate 15 years ago. Now they're all bursting at the seams without adequate playing fields. Logical problem number one, school populations change. Number two, once they're flogged off, no future government will ever be able to buy new playing fields in these inner city suburbs because the real estate, nearly eight hectares in all, is just too expensive. Once they're gone, they're gone. Number three, it's utter madness on Brisbane's south side to be flogging off scarce green space given community demand and the rising local populations occurring through urban consolidation, these fields are part of the lungs of our city of Brisbane. Four, what about child obesity? Yeah. All governments go on and on and on about child obesity, encouraging kids to play sports. So we're doing that on the one hand and flogging off their playing fields on the other to encourage them to retreat to their dens and play on the computer instead. I don't think that's smart. In fact, I think it's downright dumb. Mr Speaker, Madam Speaker, this decision lacks logic on all four accounts. So far, more than 2,000 people have expressed their opposition to this heartless decision by signing my petition calling on the Liberal National Party government to reverse this short-sighted approach. Take Bruce, for example, one of the petitioners who said, and I quote, I teach in a local Catholic school on a number of occasions we've had the pleasure of using the Balmoral High School Oval for our sports days. It's a great community asset used by many outside the school. For this reason, I believe it needs to be protected. So while Brisbane Southside community are up in arms about this, what's been the response from the Liberal National Party? One local PNC wrote to the Liberal National Party member for Greenslopes, and what was his response? Sorry, you've got too much land, that's it. Well, what about the newly elected Liberal National Party member for Balimba? You would think he would be more sympathetic. Don't bet on it. Mr Dilloway has told the Balmoral PNC he fully supports the sale, but on top of that tried to convince the BNC that this decision had nothing to do with the government. It was an independent decision of the bureaucracy. Pigs might fly. Well, I'd say this to the Liberal National Party. Local people are not easily fooled. They're not easily, they're not easily fooled at all. In fact, what this has been is a running insult to our local community. Anyone with half a brain knows that when school playing fields don't, when they get sold off, it must get the tick off of the minister concerned. In fact, the Courier-Mail recently reported that the Liberal National Party member is one of many in the LNP party room who are staunch advocates of asset sales and that the LNP government should go harder on asset sales. In fact, this local member doesn't think their LNP government has gone far enough. The Liberal National Party are treating Brisbane <coughs> South Side with absolute contempt. They seem to think it's their land and it's not the community's land. <coughs> Then there's the Liberal National Party candidate, Mr Glasson. What's his position? The sounds of silence. Nothing. Mr Speaker, Madam Speaker, I love my local community. I've lived there for 25 years. I love its schools. I know each and every one of them, all 63 of them. The great work they do with our local kids. And I'm angered beyond description by this appallingly short-sighted decision by the Liberal National Party, state and federal, deeply wedded to their ideological agenda of privatising anything they can. 
Well, I have news for the Liberal National Party. Together with the local community, we will fight these decisions with one objective, to get them overturned to keep these playing fields for future generations.